Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So, it is April and I can't believe it's already here. Oh my God, like we are 30 days away from moving and it's all chaos. Right now, it's just chaos. Trying to organize everything, organize our stuff with work, organize our gardening and supplies and you name it, it's chaos. <laughs> but, um, April still means that we are still planting some seeds. So, what seeds am I planting this April? First off, I want to make sure that all my brassicas have been planted that I'm going to have for the spring season. Now, early in May is still a little cold um, where I'm moving to, so it'll be cool enough to grow brassicas for the first few weeks and get those started. Um, I have them started here. But once we get there, we have the garden beds in, we will put these in the ground. So definitely get your brassicas. That's including Brussels sprouts, cabbage. You wanna make sure that you have your broccoli, your peony, and yeah, all your Brussels sprouts, your cauliflower, everything. You're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that if you are growing loofahs that you've either started them at the end of March or the beginning of April. Um, these take several weeks to get started and really take off. Um, you wanna make sure that they are a good size. And you also wanna make sure that before they go outside, there's like no frost, it will kill these. Now you wanna make sure that you have all of your tomatillos, your tomatoes would have been started last month and your peppers definitely would have started last month. But don't worry, if you haven't started them and you're in a colder zone, just start them. If they're a little bit behind, it is better than not having them at all. If it really bothers you, you can get them really well started with some fertilizer. Um, but yeah, don't stress too much. A few weeks is not going to be the make or break. Uh, talking from someone who has stressed about like legitimately like four days. Next, you want to start your basils. So now we're hitting our estimated last frost date will be somewhere at the end of May, mid-May, give or take. Um, I'm moving to a new place, so I'm not 100% sure how that weather is. It's about four and a half, five hours from here, where I am right now. So it will be a big different change, but basil only needs four to six weeks. Now, if you started a little bit earlier or a little bit later, it's okay. Basil is very forgiving. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you start your basils and make sure that you get them well underway before the last frost and don't put these out until all signs of frost are gone or if there is a unexpected frost you got to protect it because they get damaged very easily you want to make sure that now it's april you have all your herbs started and if you don't have enough or some did not germinate make sure you start some more to ensure that you have enough for this growing season and if they don't come up and your estimated last frost date is right around the corner, don't worry about it. Just go to your local nursery, pick up a transplant, and you're good to go. And lastly, you wanna make sure that you get your flowers started. These are some marigolds that I had for quite a number of years. I'll probably finish off the last of the seeds this year, but these only take four to six weeks. So you wanna make sure that you don't start them too early or too late. Um, so about mid-April would be best for me or the beginning of May is all right too. But yeah, these are an annual, so they will be um, killed out by the frost. So make sure you protect them. And lastly, you wanna make sure that you get your green started. So that is your lettuce, your arugula, and your kale as well. You can sow these outside before your last frost date and they'll be okay. Um, if you wanna start them from seed, they'll be, they'll be happy for it. You can start these about four-ish weeks before transplanting. And a lot of these are frost hardy, so you can actually put these out before your last frost date and you'll be good. So this month, I've actually been struggling with um, space saving, making sure that things don't get too big for their cells and also making sure that I don't have too, too much to also transport because I can't just plop these in the truck. They will have to go in my vehicle um, where it's going to be warm. 
um, because if they just go in the truck, they'll be exposed to cold uh, temperatures and that could kill off a lot of my young uh, seedlings like the peppers who hate the cold. But yeah, so guys, it's gonna be like 30 days. It is becoming surreal, still doesn't really feel that real that we're moving to this beautiful property. I am still ecstatic, even though it still doesn't feel too real. But I can't wait to share this journey with you. Make sure that if you do want to join and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the tours or building our homestead from scratch. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.